Always good to get a good stretch in before uh, before we start the videos. Welcome everyone to the channel. This is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. So today on the channel, what we're going to be talking about is I wanted to find a cost-effective projector. Just a regular old projector where I can plug my laptop into, whatever the case may be, that it can project an image. And I wanted to see what the pricing was and how cheap I could find a projector that still had good ratings and give it a shot for myself. There's many, many uses to have a projector, which are really cool when it comes to the world of photography, video, and just entertainment in general. So with that said, I went scouring around on Amazon to see what the most cost-effective projector was that still had a near five-star rating. And I believe I have found that product today. Let's check it out. So this is what we're looking at. It's made by a company called Ape Man. So I feel like it's made for me. Yeah, the Ape Man LC350 is what we're looking at here. So I paid a very good price for this projector on Amazon. You can check the current pricing in the description below, but it's a relatively inexpensive projector that still had all these five-star ratings. So I'm super curious, given what I paid for it, what, what this thing can do. I might just be thoroughly surprised, but let's unbox it and check it out. Okay, so upon first open, we are greeted with some protective packaging, which encompasses the whole projector, it looks like. Yes, very nice. I like how that's packaged. It is like pretty protected in this air padding. You know, I wish I could just wrap my entire body in this stuff and just like go float around in a river or something. <laughs> Side note. It's got a very like Apple kind of feel to it with their whole packaging. It's just, it's very like clean and uh, monochromatic, their design scheme. I like this little protective case for it. Very, very smart. The thing is pretty small. This is what we're looking at here. I'll show you guys a few different angles of it. So this is the top, the side port inputs. What do we got? What looks to be a micro SD, a USB, an HDMI, audio, headphone out, VGA in, which is interesting, old school. Power on the other side. The lens is adjustable focus. You can also adjust the keystone, it looks like. And on the bottom, it does have a tripod thread for mounting, um, which is very useful. And what is this? And this is like a little leg, I guess. If you'd wanna like put it on a table and point it upwards, you can do that as well. So, you know, from what I'm seeing here, this has all the makings um, for what you would want in a projector. What's, what's in this box here? What goodies does it come with? So we have uh, what looks to be an HDMI cable. We have your RCA, old school RCA jacks, you know. You may recognize these from your favorite gaming consoles. 2000 uh, and this goes into what looks like a uh, mini jack here and then it's got a power cable it has a remote that's always good that it has a remote and the instruction manual so that's what's in the box let's try to boot this thing up shall we <laughs> this thing is so cool this I've never seen protective packaging like this it's uh very smart. Let's plug it in first. Let's see if we, uh, let's see if this thing turns on first and foremost. Let's hit the power button and the LED just went blue. Okay. I don't know if you guys are hearing that. The fan just kicked on. Okay. I'm actually seeing, uh, I don't know if you guys are seeing, I'm seeing something. It's displaying something. I can't really see it right now. Computer, turn off key light. Finally automated that. As you can see, when it boots up, it says movie, music, photo, or text. So I'm just playing with the focus, trying to see if we can get an image here, a better image. And I'm curious, so you guys are kind of seeing that on the table, 
So these are just first impressions. It says movie, music, photo, or text. This thing has a couple of speakers inbuilt into it as well. I don't know, I'm super curious of, of what it does just considering the price of it again, like I've mentioned a few times. So let's go check this thing out further and uh, see what it can do. Okay guys, so I've set up a roll of photo paper to use as our projector screen to test everything out. From this, I can give a demo of the projector in action, as well share the strengths and weaknesses that I've found while using it and wrap everything up with a final thought. So first off, the connections and specifications. As you saw earlier, this projector has a multitude of inputs and outputs to connect all of your devices. Now don't be fooled, this is only a 480p projector with a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels that it does project, but it is able to take 1080 high definition input signals and it deals with them just fine. So the recommended projection distance from the manufacturer is five to eight feet away from your screen that you are projecting onto. And this should give you roughly a 45 to 60 inch projected image. There's also a sound output port if you did want to connect the audio to a proper sound system. But on that note and moving into the actual usage of the projector, there is actually a built-in speaker for the sound, which is a huge plus and perhaps what highlights this projector as one of its strengths. The built-in speaker is a great feature to have if you don't want to go to the trouble to running a separate audio system. So in terms of actually using the projector, turning it on, as you can see, it has a pretty good user interface. I was pleasantly surprised. The menus were well designed and it was all pretty easy to navigate. The included remote is also laid out pretty well. Of course, when you're using the projector, there is a fan inside of it and there is a bit of fan noise. This fan is actually supposed to be relatively quiet as compared to a lot of the other projectors out there, especially at this price point. So moving on to the image quality now, this is actually a quite bright projector at a rated 4,000 lumens, which you typically find that on more expensive models. So in terms of the actual projected image quality itself, listen, I'll say this about it. For the price you're paying, it's probably one of the best images you can buy. So based on what's available in this price point, we really need to take that in consideration when judging our image. No, it's not going to be winning any awards for its image quality. And I found it didn't do great with text given it is a lower resolution image. But hey, it still is the best projected image you're gonna find at this particular price point. So it's really a great option and a great projector if you need to project an image to a bunch of people, but you're on a really tight budget to do so. So some situations off the top of my head is this would be absolutely great for kids, for a kid's room, for a kid's party. It would be great for teens. It would be great in a dorm room, in college life, in a dormitory. It's great for gaming or low action games where you need to play with a group of people. It's got tons of inputs and ports of every type. Connect your laptop or you can easily turn this into a smart projector by connecting a Chromecast or something of that nature. And again, the takeaway is that at this price point, a similarly priced TV or projector either doesn't exist or it's a far less superior viewing experience with less viewing features. And based on that, this does get a thumbs up and it is a good buy given the criteria I've laid out. So that just about wraps us up for today's video. If you're considering buying this product, please use our links in the description below to help support the channel. Please engage with the videos, like, comment, and of course, I would love for you to subscribe if you enjoy this channel idea where we explore the world of products for imagination. That's all for today, and we'll see you in the next one.